welcome to your home school. This is your last session in your class 9 mathematics NCRT or CBSC syllabus. Last exercise that is exercise 1.6. In this exercise we are going to learn about what are laws of exponents and how to apply in your problems. So children you might be having a basic knowledge about this in your previous classes. Okay let's see quickly here. So Suppose if I take here x, what do you say? This is your base, right? So if I take here any one, x raised to 1 or you may call it as x power 1. In the spell itself, what we can spell here? x power 1. So we call this as power or exponent power or exponent and this we call it as a base completely we call it as a exponential form so look here x power 1 what is x power 1 x is repeated one time means x power 1 is equal to x suppose x raised to 2 or x power 2. So what is your base? x is your base. What is your exponent value 2? x power 2 indicates what? x is multiplied 2 times. How do you write this one? x into x. Suppose x cube. How do you write? x into x into x means x is multiplied three times here x multiplied two times x power one only one time so like this if you write here x power n how many times x is multiplied don't know the number number of times x is multiplied what the n value you will say that many times your x is multiplied here so here what is x power zero x power 0 is always 1. Try to remember here children. x power 0. Definitely you do mistake in your high school. x power 0 is always 1. Anything power 0. Not only x power. 5 power 0 1. 10 power 0 1. 50 power 0 1. 39 power 0 is 1. Any number. Its power is 0. Then its value is 1. So now x power n, alright? So x is a base, n is your power or exponential form. So x multiplied, x into x into x into so on up here. n value if you know up to that time it is multiplied. So now your next step. What is your next step here? This is all you might be knowing, right? So now suppose... If you have any negative power, suppose you have x power minus 1. How do you write here children? Do you multiply any negative x, negative x you will multiply? No, no. Then how do you multiply this? See here, this you need to form an index form. What do you mean by index form? So you need to rewrite this as 1 by x. Suppose if you have x power minus 2, what happens? 1 by x is divided. How many x you have here? 2x. So by x again by x you will be having here. So look here by x what happens? When you bring to the numerator again it will be multiplied like this. Finally it will be 1 by x square. So observe here children by negative I am writing like this. So, whereas only positive power you have, directly multiply. Suppose you have any negative power, you keep on dividing for 1. When you divide for denominator, these will be multiplied. So, if you have x power minus 3, how do you write children? 3 times x is multiplied in the denominator. That is 1 by x into x into x like this, you need to multiply or you can write it as 1 by x cube. Similarly, 
when you have x power minus n how do you write here 1 by x power n yes do you remember it is a general form of a third nth root a you need to convert here here power you have split it that negative power also you have split it then how to do this type here so write this as so this power you need to write it as a whole power 1 by n okay suppose you have any square root 3 observe here carefully square root 3 how do you write an index form here children so 3 as it is power 1 by what's the order you have here 2 square root itself 2 so 3 power 1 by 2 suppose you have any fifth root 5 there how do you rewrite this one see here radicand power 1 by what's your order 3 this is the way we need to write here. Same manner, any value you can convert like this, children. Nth root A is equal to B, where A and B are greater than 0. So, observe here, children. Only nth root A you need to convert means you are going to write it as A whole power 1 by N. So, equal to be there at that moment, what you need to do? You need to remove this root, right? If you want to remove what you need to do, apply whole to the power of n this side. So, you need to remove this root, right? A is equal to b power n, you write. Okay, similarly one example I will show here. Root 2 is equal to 3. Just simply understand the question here. It's not exact value. Root 2 is equal to 3 there. Okay. How do you write here children? This root I want to remove. Then what you need to do? This n value is 2. Square root means n value 2. So this square root send other side by whole to the power order. What you have order here children? 2 equal to 3 whole square that is 2 is equal to 9 okay this is the way we convert the roots into square or square into root keep the root also same manner observe here how do you write here 2 uh, keep the root of 2 there how do you rewrite this 2 power 1 by 3 you are writing right suppose you need to remove this one okay if you have any other number here suppose you have any other number like this. So what you do here? This cube root you need to send other side. Means 2 is equal to 5 whole power 3 you need to write. Okay like this you won't have any questions. But this cube root you need to send equal to other side. Means RHS part you need to send. You need to do whole cube. Uh, what the order there that power you need to apply here. Let's see the loss of exponents here children where if a is greater than 0 and a is a real number. What is a? a is a real number and uh, if p, q are any rational numbers, a rational and a is real then this loss will be applied here. What is your first law here children? A power P into A power Q. When you have same basis and different exponents. Observe here children. When you have same basis, different exponents. What you need to do? Take the base and add the powers. What you have done here? Same basis, different exponents. You need to take the base and add the powers. Let's see one example for this law children here. 2 power 3 into 2 power 4. So what is this here? 2 base and here base is same. When bases are same, powers are added. How do you rewrite this? 2 power 3 plus 4. That will be 2 power 7. 2 power 7 means what children? 2, 7 times it is multiplied. Shall we write the answer? Okay, let's start multiplying here. 5, 2. So, 2 how many times it is multiplied? 7 times. 
2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 8 2s 16 16 2s are 32 Thirty-two twos are sixty-four. Sixty-four twos are one hundred and twenty-eight. This is your answer. Okay. So let's see the second law here, children. What's your second law? A power p whole power q. So observe here carefully. A power p whole power q. So how do you write this? So if you have a single base. Then the exponents are multiplied. So a power p into q that is p q. So when you have a same base and here different powers are there, a power p whole power q or whole power are there, all the powers will be multiplied. Okay, that will be a power p q. One example here for this. Uh, let's take. Two power three whole power two. So it is in which form, children? A power m whole power n. M value three, n value is two. Okay, sorry, cut cut. So which form it is? A power p whole power q. So how do you write here? A power p q means three into two. A power six. That will be how much here? Sixty-four. This is your answer. So coming to your third law. What will be your third law here? A power p by a power q. So when you have same bases in numerator and denominator, and your powers or exponents are different, what you need to do? Take the base and subtract the exponents. That is a. P minus Q. So look here, children. A power P by A power Q. You have same bases. Okay. Then the powers can be subtracted in your division. When you have same bases in division, powers can be subtracted. So let's take one example here, children. Ah, uh, that might be three mm, power four by three power two. So observe here base three, base three, power four, power two, same bases. What you need to do powers, powers can be subtracted while you are doing division. That is three power four minus two. That will be four minus two will be two. Three power two means what? Three is multiplied two times. That is three into three. That will be nine. Is your answer? Let's see the fourth law. What is your fourth law here? When you have a power p into b power p, how can you write here? Now your exponents are same. Okay, exponents are same. Then what you need to do? Bases you can multiply. So that is a into b whole power p. You can write. A into B or A B A into B whole power P. So once again, look here. When your bases are different, powers are same. So what you need to do? Multiply the bases. Whole power power you can write. Okay. So look here. Let's take one example for this. Take one example. Two power three into two power into three power three. You have here. So what you need to do? Same power you have, right? So you can write here two into three whole power three. That is six cube. That will be how much here? Six six here? Thirty six. Thirty six six here? How much? Two hundred and sixteen. Six six here? Thirty six. Thirty six six here? Two hundred and sixteen. See, Ashilan, this is the way we apply all this. So now, uh, still, what we need to know? Uh, anything power zero is one, and here anything power one is same value. You need to get, and any negative power if you have, you can write it in the form of a reciprocal. Uh, so before starting your exercise, I want to say one more here, children. How to convert this a power m by n there? So how can you write this? I may write it as a power m whole power one by n. I can write yes or no. So this again, I can write it as 
nth root of a power m. So let's see one example for this children here. Uh, suppose 2 power 3 by 2 there. Okay, you have to convert this. How can you convert this? I will write it as 2 power 3 whole power 1 by 2. That will be, uh, this will be there number, this you need to write for order. That is 2 square root of 2 cube is 8. Square root, you no need of writing this two specially. If you write simply root, it is a square root. Okay, is this clear? Now, let's start your exercise. Last exercise, that is exercise 1.6. Your first main here, find 64 power 1 by 2 there. How can you write this children? 64, it is a perfect square, right? Of what? 8, 8, 64. Right? So, this I will write it as 8 square whole power 1 by 2. See carefully here. This 2, this 2 will be cancelled. Why? A power P whole power Q. A power P into Q. Right? 2 into 1 by 2. If you do, 2, 2 will be cancelled. Or if you want, you can see here children like this. 2 into 1 by 2. 2, 2 will be cancelled. 8 is your answer. Either this way directly you can do or you can do like this. How you have done this? By which law? You have done this by using your second law. That is A power P. You need to write here. I have done this problem by A power P whole power Q. That is A power P Q. I have applied this law in this problem. Okay. Let's see the second problem. 32. How can I convert 32? 32 whole power 1 by 5. So, here you see here carefully 5. Is this number repeats 5 times any number? Is this number a multiple of any number 5 times? Yes. 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 8 2 is 16, 16 2 is a 32. That means I can rewrite 32 as 2 power 5 whole power 1 by 5. Now again apply the same law here. 2 power 5 into 1 by 5. 5 I cancel. Your answer is 2. Easy no? So see the next one. 125 whole power 1 by 3. 125. Do you get any number if you multiply 3 times? Do you get 125? Yes. It is 5. 5s are 25. 25. 5 are 125. That means 5 power 3 whole power 1 by 3. If you apply this law, you are going to cancel. Your answer is 5. Easy, no? It's very easy. Right? Yes, children. Your second main, what do you have? Find. There are four sub-questions in this. Okay, let's start with the first sub-question. So, 9 power 3 by 2 you have. So, what you need to observe here carefully? Your exponent form, what you have denominator value 2. Any number, if you multiply 2 times, you will get 9. Think over. Yes, 3, 3 is a 9. So, write this 9 as 3 square whole power 3 by 2. So, now, which law you are going to remember here, children? You can remember A power P whole power Q. That you can write it as A power P into Q. Yes or no? So, same manner, you split this 3 power 2 into 3 power, into 3 by 2, 2, 2 cancel. You are going to left with 3 power 3. That is how much? 3 power 3, 3 cube means what? 3 is multiplied 3 times. That will be 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27 is your answer. So, look over the next problem. 32 whole power 2 by 5. So, now what you need to observe? Observe this 5. Any number if you multiply 5 times, do you get 32? Yes. Which number? 2. 2 if you multiply 5 times, you are going to get 32. Whole power 2 by 5. Again, apply same identity. You need to write for every problem. What law you are using, you need to write for every problem. A power P into Q. So, when you do, you can cancel 5, 5. You are going to get 2 power 2. That is nothing but 2 into 2 is equal to 4 is your answer. 
So look over third problem. Observe 4 here. Any number if you multiply 4 times, do you get 16? Yes, it is 2. 2 2 is 4, 4 2 is 8, 8 2 is 16. So that will be 2 power 4 whole power 3 by 4. So look here children, you are applying law or directly you can cancel this. Okay, 4 and 4 will be cancelled. That will be 2 cubed, that will be 8. 2 if you multiply 3 times, you are going to get an answer 8. So see the last problem here. 125 whole power minus 1 by 3. Oh, some negative you have, no problem. 125, any number multiplied for 3 times? Yes, 5 is multiplied 3 times. That will be 5 power 3 whole power minus 1 by 3. So when you apply your law, 5 power 3 into minus 1 by 3, 3, 3 cancel, you are left with 5 power minus 1. When you have any negative exponent, how do you write here children? You need to write in the reciprocal form. So that is 1 by, remove the negative sign, 1 by 5 power 1, that will be 1 by 5. So observe your last main here children, that is your third main. Simplify, they have given us four problems. Okay, let's start here. See the first problem, 2 power 2 by 3 into, this dot indicates into. 2 power 1 by 5. So, which law you remember children? Yes, same basis. Powers are different. Same basis, you can add your powers. So, by first law, what you can say here children? A power P into A power Q. How do you write this? A power P plus Q. Yes or no? Bases are same. Powers can be added. So, now what is your base? 2 power 2 by 3 into 2 power 1 by 5. How do you write this? 2 power 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Powers can be added. Now observe here, I need to do here LCM. Yes or no? Do you remember here fraction addition and subtractions from your mathematics basics videos? Do you remember children? So how to do if you want to know again, go back to your playlist of this channel and then go through the mathematics basics. Okay, now let's do the LCM here. 3 and 5 LCM is 15. So 3 table where you get 15, 3 fives are right. That 5 multiply here, 2 fives are 10. And 5 table where you get 15, 5 threes are. So that 3 multiply 1 into 3 will be 3. Finally, what's your answer here children? 2 power 10 plus 3 will be 13 by 15. Enough. After this, you can simplify. Look here, second problem here children. 1 by 3 power 3 whole power 7. So, how do you write this one here? So, you can split the power. So, this power you have to split for numerator and also denominator. So, how do you split here? 1 whole power 7 by 3 power 3 whole power 7. Okay. So, now 1, 7 times if you multiply what you are going to get? 1 itself. That will be 1 by 3 power 3 whole power 7 you have. Now, observe only denominator. Yes, you can remember one law, right? That is A power P whole power Q. When you have a single base and many powers, powers can be multiplied. So now, 1 by 3 power, 3 sevens are 21. Okay, so finally your answer is 1 by 3 power 21. You can rewrite this in the form of 3 power minus 21 also. You can write, you can end your answer here or here. Okay, go to the third problem here. 11 power 1 by 2 whole divided by 11 power 1 by 4. So your bases are same. Powers are different when you are doing division. What you need to do children? You need to subtract. Okay, when you can subtract here, P is greater than Q. P should be greater than Q. You can apply this formula. So look here. Uh, which identity? A power P by A power Q. 
is equal to third law, right? A power P minus Q. Apply this here. I am applying this law here. What you are going to get? 11 power 1 by 2 whole divided by 11 power 1 by 4 is equal to 11 power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Okay, in your power you need to do again LCM there. So observe here 2 and 4 LCM is 4 and numerator 2 tools are 4 right 2 minus 1 that will be 11 power 1 by 4 is your answer or you can write 4th root 11 also you can write this. So see the last and final problem here 7 power 1 by 2 into 8 power 1 by 2. So you, do you remember here children it is your last law what I have said now. A power P into B power P. So what you do? A B whole power P you need to write. So now A power P into B power P you can write it as A B whole power P. Same manner it was there right? So let me write it as 7 whole power 1 by 2 into 8 power 1 by 2. That will be 7 into 8 whole power 1 by 2. That will be Okay, children, 7 8s are 56. 56 whole power 1 by 2. Okay, children, we have completed our first chapter that is your number system. I hope you all enjoyed this chapter. If you feel uh, you have missed any of the topic in this chapter, so what you need to do, you can go to the channel playlist. Okay, playlist you can go and you can search. Or otherwise, one more option for you in your description box below the video. Okay, below the video, you will be having a description box. All the links of other parts will be given in that description box. Okay, children, thank you all. We are going to meet in our next session with another new chapter. Thank you all. <laughs>